During the night, I had dreams related to the appetite of lust. I do not remember exactly the details, but I had the feeling that something bad was happening when suddenly I was taken out of my dream into the spiritual realm in which I saw my body lying on my bed and something like a kind of strings pulling of my private parts and when my sight follows those strings I see something incredibly horrendous it was a kind of female demon extremely horrible she was the one pulling the strings and from her waist down the form of her body was similar to a spider I could not believe what I was seeing it looked like something straight out of a horror movie I saw how this demonic spirit was using those strings to stimulate my private parts inside my dreams. Somehow I knew that this demon was injecting desire and thoughts of lust into my dreams to make me fall into sin through my dreams, which have direct consequences in the spiritual realm. This type of infernal demon reminds me of the incubus and succubus demons which also lead their victims into the sin of lust. While incubus and succubus demons are assigned to people in general, these kinds of arachnid demons are of a higher hierarchic level, assigned against the ministers of God. We will confirm this later in this video. Now we must emphasize a very, very important lesson, that sin is not only when we sin in the physical world, but also mentally, in our thoughts which are also directly connected to our dreams and these in turn to the spiritual realm. We can confirm this in Matthew chapter 5 verses 27 to 28 when Jesus says, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Furthermore, let us think about this, if dreams really had no importance whatsoever, and were not connected to the spiritual realm and physical world, then why do demons occupy so much of their time, attacking us within our dreams, to make us fall into sin? This opens our eyes to the reality that we must be free of sin, not only in the physical world, but also in our thoughts and dreams, because we exist in all these realities, and therefore we make our own decisions within them, in the physical world, in the dreams, and in the spiritual realm, where these three are completely connected with each other. Our actions in our physical world have direct repercussions in the spiritual realm, and in turn, what happens in the spiritual realm has direct repercussions in our physical world. With time, God gave me the great opportunity to confirm the veracity of the vision that he showed me, which confirmation is in the best book that tells in detail, the reality of how, written by Roger Mills in his book Brother Roger, tells how our Lord God Jesus took him to the depths of the abyss, in the eternal darkness of the center of the earth. In fact, we can confirm the location of Hal in Matthew chapter 12 verse 40 and in 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 19. For as Jonas was in the belly of the great fish three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights, in which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. In his incredible visit to Hal, Brother Roger describes how he saw large numbers of Arachne demonic spirits, which are assigned by the Prince of Hal, to come up to the surface of the earth and seduce the ministers of God to all those who have ministries that help to save and bring souls to Christ. Brother Roger relates and confirms that these Arachne demons have the power to lustfully seduce men and women and that this type of Arachne demons are partly to blame for why many men and women of God end up imprisoned in the eternal darkness of the abyss because these ministers never stop sinning, becoming backsliders, never controlled their lustful appetites. So when they died, then demons immediately dragged their human spirits into the abyss of eternal darkness, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, as confirmed in Matthew chapter 8 verse 12, but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth.